how to change your motorcycle's oil filter. The first thing that you're going to want to do is locate the oil filter on your motorcycle. On this particular bike, we have a spin-on filter, which is similar to most modern car oil filters. And in order to change this oil filter, the first thing you're going to want to do is drain your oil from your motorcycle. So you're going to need to locate where your drain bolt is and remove all the oil from the motorcycle. On this particular bike, the drain plug is right here. Having a convenient oil filter wrench like this certainly makes the job a lot easier to remove your oil filter and it also will not damage the, uh, the oil filter. I have an oil filter wrench here that I just installed on my oil filter. I'm going to spin it free. Make sure you have a catch pan because you will, you will lose some oil. Once I have my oil filter removed, I'm going to make sure that I have this O-ring present on the old oil filter and make sure that it's not stuck to the maiden surface. Therefore, when you install your new one, you won't what, do have what you call a double gasket and have an oil leak. When I inst install in the new filter, I'm going to make sure that I have a, uh, the correct oil filter, an OEM one. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I have clean oil on the gasket surface or this O-ring. Going to install it with this oil filter wrench that I have here. And a common mistake that the, the home mechanic often does is over torques his oil filter. Refer to your owner's manual for the torque spec with this oil filter wrench will allow you to get a torque wrench on there. So you never want to over torque your oil filter. After you've installed your oil filter on your motorcycle, you're going to reinstall your drain bolts with a new gasket. Torque, that's the proper spec. Check your owner's manual to add the correct amount of oil and the correct oil. And then you're gonna follow procedures to check it. And that will conclude how to change your oil filter.